I'm doing a big job. I'm stripping out the uh, second island where Dungeon 13 is. I'm flattening it. And I decided to fool around with my mouse buttons. And I have discovered that there is a way you can set the mouse to keep doing something even after you've stopped pressing the button. So I'm going to show you the adjustment. You go to your control panel and then there's an, like ease of access or disability accessible or something like that. I'm on Windows 7. Your mileage may vary. Just fool around in your control panel until you find it. Uh, what happens is, in my case, after I've mined two blocks by pressing the left mouse button, uh, the mouse will continue to mine blocks automatically. Here's where it is, or it's use of access for mousey stuff. Uh, they even have, like you can see, they have cursors that are supposed to be easier to see and so on. Just sort of follow what I'm doing here. I can't see it because I'm in the editor, but you get the general idea. It lets you adjust for right or left handed, adjust how look, I click double click very slowly, so I've got it adjusted to that because I'm not a very quick double clicker and sometimes it wouldn't register. So now my double click works better. Um, and then you go into that little adjustment and you can adjust how quickly or slowly it will automatically start performing the left mouse click function um, after you've been pressing the left mouse. So the way it works for me is I, in the case of sandstone here, I mine about two blocks and um, I'll show you better mouse cursors later, but it's easier if you want really big ones so you can see them easily. I mean, how to make your own mouse cursors like I have. So I, in the case of sandstone, I click for two blocks. I hold the mouse button down for two blocks, and then it just automatically starts digging blocks without me holding down the mouse button. I wish I'd known this before when I was using that um, uh, battery-operated wireless mouse because it would save me a ton on batteries because the computer takes over the function. Now I'm showing you that you can also adjust the keyboard to perform various functions that customize it the way you want it. So you don't have to deal with things like sticky keys where if you press the same key more than once, uh, it thinks you want sticky key functions and it'll put this little pop-up right in the middle of your game and say, do you want it to perform sticky keys? You can adjust all that so it doesn't get in your way. When you turn around, if you're not facing a block, uh, the uh, pickaxe stops, but it's still set to mine, so the next time you're close enough to a block that you hit the hitbox, it'll keep mining. I would warn you to be careful of doing this on uh, servers and PvP games and so on. Once you start hitting your uh, sword to attack somebody, it's... Oh, and see, when the pick ran out, it kept hitting, and then I just rolled over to a new pick. When you're doing a big job like strip mining or something, wouldn't that be excellent? You could have your whole toolbar full of picks and just scroll over to the next one without having to redo your mouse button. Now what I'm showing you, oh, I'm showing you how to do the um, customized er, pointers or cursors or whatever. Again, this is on Windows 7. Your mileage may vary, but you access it through the control panel. I think on most Windows operating systems. I don't know about other systems at all. And you see, I got animated mouse cursors off the internet, and I downloaded them into the proper file, and I assigned them to various functions. Almost all of them are animated. All of them are big, so I can see them easily. I like animated because it draws my attention to the cursor. It's like, I'm over here, I'm over here. Plus, they're really cute. Be careful when you download cursors. Make sure the site, use Web of Trust or another, um, uh, function on your uh, browser. Web of Trust will let you know if the site is trustworthy or not. Now you see I've customized this uh, cursor selection, pointer selection, so that I can choose to either use it or one of the other ones. Like another user on my computer could use, doesn't have to use little pink cats wagging their tails. You know what I mean? So be careful use something like Web of Trust or something to make sure that when you click the link to download these cursors, You've gone to a safe one and not something that's going to install malware and garbage on your computer. So yeah, it'll just keep doing that until you click left-click again and that'll turn the mouse thing off. That'll turn the uh, mining function off. So be careful when you're using it in PvP. I would um, readjust it 
so that your sword doesn't keep whacking at things. Uh, first of all, it's bad for the durability of your sword. Second of all, it's considered spamming. I don't know if it actually impacts servers, but I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, there's my first dungeon, that easy one that didn't have any mobs and stuff. See, I've flattened this whole island. I'm using the sandstone to build bridges between islands so that I can access them easier. I plan to have a railroad. I would like to keep this house as my house because it's away from the cooties and the cootie spawn. I did bought, build, this is called a, I think it's called a honey pot. The uh, 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 cooties don't have any other good place to spawn, so perhaps they will spawn in that box. And over there where I'm mining, I'm going to build another one too. Uh, I used half slabs all over this so the cooties can't spawn on my house. There is a block of sandstone on top of each tree with a torch on it so spiders can't spawn up there. So this is pretty much a cootie safe area. Uh, so that's it. Anyway, just some suggestions on, you know, you don't have to have the ability to make your computer more accessible. Have a nice day and thanks for watching. Bye.